Hi, welcome to Industrial Surplus. This is a video demonstration of a 2000 Herco model Hawk 30 with a dual screen SSM Ultimax control. Uh, the machine was bought new by a uh, high tech Connecticut uh, uh, turbine blade manufacturer. They were going to use it for some of their molds and stuff. And uh, they bought it new in 2000. Uh, and in 2001, they shut it off and never used it again. It has a uh, total number of hours on the spindle of 1,812 hours. And that's it. And uh, underneath the weight covers, uh, I don't know if we can see it, but we can try at some point that uh, these, these things are like immaculate. I mean, I don't know if I've ever seen weighs as nice as those. They're, they're just perfect. I mean, uh, we just got the machine in. We haven't even had uh, really a, an opportunity to uh, wipe it off. But uh, with a little bit of uh, a few rags and a little bit of elbow grease, this thing will clean up to be like a new machine. It has a number 40 taper spindle power drawbar. Spindle speeds are variable. They'll go from uh, 40 to 4,000 RPM. Has a uh, cutting feed rate of uh, 1 to 140 inches per minute with a rapid traverse rate of 200 inches a minute. It also has uh, the, uh, the head here is the z-axis. The whole head goes up and down driven by that servo motor. Uh, it's a 5 horsepower spindle motor, power draw bar like I said. And then you also have power quill feed as in a, uh, as if it was a Bridgeport mill. You get about five inches of uh, extra quill travel out of that. The uh, table size is 11 by 52. With travels of uh, 18 by 33 and a half. The Z axis travel is 20 inches. Table load will hold about 1400 pounds. Comes with a work light of course, coolant uh, pump. A little uh, tray down here to collect the coolant, keep the oil in place. Chip pan here and a coolant splash guard system up here. Uh, the machine weighs about 5,300 pounds. We have uh, a whole set of uh, manuals that goes with this machine and a uh, booklet of floppy disks uh, which entail, uh, they, on, on the disks themselves, they have the executive tapes, a production composites tapes, OptiKey utility tape, LC upgrade tape, ulti pockets, 3D mold, and a DXF software disc for this machine. And as I said, a complete set of manuals for it too. So we'll uh, go ahead and uh, start this machine. Uh, what we're doing really, uh, we, we uh, just turned it on the other day and uh, we got as far as doing a, uh, uh, a warm up. So we'll just uh, do the warm up and uh, run that. Basically, it homes itself, or is it, it just home? exercises? Yeah, the axes, with the spindle. Put the spindle and move all the axes to their extremes. Maybe uh, just for the demo purposes, you could uh, remove that front guard, the cover. Let's try it. Spindle speeds programmable, do we know yet? Uh, they are to a certain extent, but you have to change belt position and let the machine know that you have. And it's got provisions for that. Yeah, it's pretty. It's in the program. It is. It's pretty user friendly. Super quiet. Uh, this this machine. I'm, I got to tell you, uh, it looks like uh, they've used it, to, and they have. There's no doubt. Uh, but if we uh, really clean this up, uh, you'd be looking at a virtually a brand new machine with 1,800 hours on the machine on the spindle. Uh, you, know, you could hardly even say it was broken in. It's a uh, truly a rare find. You never, 
never find a three axis CNC mill with this kind of uh, ruggedness uh, built into it. Uh, you know, the Bridgeport machines are much smaller. Uh, the true VMCs are just a little too big. Uh, this is a real nice tool room, mold working kind of machine. I mean, that thing is just humming along. As the dual screens, plotting, graphing, and uh, uh, line line items, also has a uh, operator's jog uh, remote control. Ball track type mouse. Well, that's the uh, basic uh, machine. Just wanted to get this uh, videotaped and made uh, just so we'll have it up online uh, immediately and uh, we'll uh, probably get into uh, cleaning the machine and doing a final uh, videotape of this uh, shortly. Thank you.